So in the last week I bought some stuff from China and it completely ripped me off. At first I thought it was just one product. I bought an electric car heater and it says that it's rated for 800 watt output. And then I hook it up to a 12 volt battery, which it's rated for, and I get 200 watts. So I order a second one and I think, okay, maybe I made a mistake on the first one and I get the same exact results. And so I return that one and then I'm like, wait a second, are all of them like this? And these are not cheap. These are about $50 each or more. And this one is like the best one on there. So I order two more and we're gonna see if these actually pull what they're rated for. And I don't think it gets more Chinese than this. Everything on here is literally in Chinese. Even though it's a heater, it calls itself a car electric air conditioner. And the other ones I had are kind of like this. It's a box with some fans and some resistors inside. Now the first two were rated for 800 and they pulled about 200 watts. But for these ones, this one is rated for 600 watts and this one is rated for 1000 to 1200 watts. So let's see if it actually pulls that. So first we need to connect these wires to a battery and some safety glasses. And this is rated for 12 volts, not 24, not anything else. And the positive, woo, it's on. And a fluke meter, and there's two switches, so let's turn on the first one. And it's pulling 19 amps, 20 amps, there we go. Now let's turn on the second one, and with both it's pulling 41 amps. We've got 13.2 volts, so 13.2 multiplied by, let's give it 43 amps, because it would probably heat up and the resistance would increase and it'd probably rise a little bit. 567, that's a lot better than 200 watts. And that's pretty close to 600 watts. So this is the best one yet. And honestly, this looks like the lowest quality out of all of them. So that's a pleasant surprise. I thought this was gonna pull only 200 watts like all the others. The previous ones only pulled about 16 amps and that was with all the motors running. So yeah, those things were garbage. I returned both of them because I wasn't gonna make a video on it, but then I was like, gosh, these are gonna be a major scam. But yeah, not all of them are a scam, but man, this build quality, look at how bad this is. I would not trust this in a car. Let's open it up and see what's inside. This plastic feels so cheap. Look at this. Look at this wiring job, you guys. We've got some diodes and they soldered them to the fan wires, but technically these are good connections. Nothing's coming loose. And this is good. This solder joint did reach temperature, but what a cheap device, man. And this is like a 14 gauge wire for 40 amps. That, that's gotta get pretty hot. I guess it's being cooled down by these fans constantly, but this is a, that's not smart. And this isn't screwed in. It's just held in place by a couple pieces of foam. Very cheaply made, my goodness. All right, let's move on. All right, this thing is just ridiculous. And it's made with the cheapest metal ever. Like you can just bend it in any spot. It's just a cheap, cheap device. This is as Chinese as it gets, you guys. First off, the breaker isn't rated for DC. And it has a weak and a strong setting, interesting. I would think it's an on and off switch, but I guess it's for, it says a speed switch. All right, let's hook it up. What's the worst that can happen, right? There we go. And we're gonna flip the switch. Uh-oh, fan did not turn on, but the resistor coil did turn on. Oh, there we go. So the first switch is for the fan and then this one is for the heater. So let's turn on the heater. It's pulling 30 amps. Is that it? It's not changing at all. Let's flip the switch and turn the fan off. It'll probably heat up. Uh oh, that doesn't sound good. Yeah, it's getting too hot. I need to turn that back on. And now it smells bad. I don't know why it has a switch for the fan to turn off completely. That's a fire hazard. All right, let's figure out how much this is. I don't think the voltage is dropping much, but let's just check anyways. Oh, 12.5, that is a significant amount. 12.5 multiplied by 30, 375 watts. And it's supposed to pull 1,000 to 1,200 watts. So out of the four that I purchased, three of them were pulling about one fourth of what they're rated for. This one did not pull as much as it's rated for, but it almost made it. And it had the worst build quality ever inside. So if you're in the market for one of these, just understand that most of them are a scam. If you guys know of one that's not, please link it below for everyone to see. Now you might be wondering, why did I buy these? I'm actually building a massive load tester for 12 volt batteries, because some of them are rated for 200 amps, 300 
100 amps, 500 amps for three, four, five seconds. So I need something to test that. And I need to test the overcurrent protection because it seems to be lacking on the cheap budget 12 volt batteries. But this is not the way to do it. These are complete garbage. And in my next video, I should have it built. So I can't wait to show you that and we're gonna test lots of batteries. But I just found this and wanna throw this out here just in case you guys were trying to buy one of these. I would not. But thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.